Okay, this is a good thing, you guys. This is Lesson 1, 6, Part B, Identifying Angle Pairs. Uh, nice thing, this is a short lesson. So, uh, first of all, your vocabulary words. Um, these four vocabulary words, vertical angles, adjacent angles, complementary angles, and supplementary angles, all four of these words you need to write down and also put in your vocabulary packets. Now, vertical angles, these are huge. I call them the, sh the shape of a V. The V angles, V for vertical, V angles is this V right here, and then they touch and they keep going down to this V. These are vertical angles. So if you see any kind of an X, the X's form a V, and inside the X are the two V's that touch at the point. And these are your vertical angles. So vertical angles, they tell you, in this case, is angle 3 and angle 4. There is another pair of vertical angles in this picture. It's angle 1 and angle 2. So I can say angle 1 and angle 2 are also vertical angles. OK, adjacent angles. I call these the side-by-sides. Um, adjacent means touching. So they're touching side by side. If you take a look at these pictures, angle 1 and angle 2 are touching. So here's my first angle 1. And right next to it, side by side, so here's the side they share, the same side. They're touching. They have a same vertex, so they have to have a common vertex and a common side. And they have no common interior points, meaning they're not crossing each other. Angle 3 and angle 4 are called adjacent angles. Okay. Let's talk about complementary angles and supplementary angles. Complementary and supplementary. If you notice, they sound alike. I like to go by alphabetical order. C comes first of the alphabet, S comes second in the alphabet. And if you notice, we have two numbers, 90 and 180. So complementary angles are two angles who have a sum, which means they add up to 90. So two angles that add to 90 degrees. That's what complementary angles are. Supplementary angles are two angles that add to 180 degrees. And that's what supplementary angles are. So I'm going to give you a couple examples and then that's it for our notes for 1B. Okay, we're going to look at this diagram, and it says, in the diagram, identify pairs of angles that are related as stated. So number one, you have to find two, you have to find some complementary angles. Now, don't forget, these are two angles that add to 90 degrees. So I'm going to find an angle that's 90 degrees, and if you look at angle W, S, T, there are two angles that make this 90 degree angle. So look at WST, I see the box, 3 and 4 are complementary angles. So you would say angle 3 and angle 4. Or you can say angle 3 is complementary to angle 4. All right, supplementary angles. These are two angles that add to 180 degrees. Don't forget, a 180 degree angle is also a straight line. So if you see two angles that form a straight line, these angles have to be supplementary. I have a lot of angles in here that could be supplementary. So I'm going to find this straight line. I'm going to use this straight line. I'm going to highlight it in blue. This is angle RST. And I'm going to pick this line to come out of it. So I know that this angle from here to here plus this angle from there to there make up that straight line. They have to add to 180. So those are supplementary angles. So I'm going to say angle RSX 
and angle 4 are supplementary angles. Okay, next item they want you to look at are vertical angles. Now, don't forget, vertical angles, I'm going to find a letter X, and I'm going to look for the V's in there. So I see a letter X, I'm going to highlight it. Here's one line, two lines crossing, and inside those crossing lines, I see these two angles that are opposite each other. Those are my vertical angles. So angle one and angle four are vertical angles. Okay, and the last example are adjacent angles. Now adjacents are my side-by-sides. Side-by-sides. Two angles that have a common side, they have to share a side. There are many answers in this picture. So I'm going to look at the ones I see. Okay, I'm going to look at this angle right here. Angle 1 or angle VSR. And I noticed from there to there, it's shared. They have this side right here in common with this angle, angle 2 or angle RSW. So those two angles must be adjacent angles. So I would say angle 1 and angle 2 are adjacent angles. Okay, that's it for this video lesson. I hope you guys have a great night and are willing to come in and ready to work tomorrow on the book work for section 1-6. You have a good night, guys.